uh, Elisa Longo Borghini is um, yeah, um, a rider for Tri Traxi Goffredo, but most of all uh, is a, a girl living in Ornavasso and um, an auntie. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think just a normal person in, in life. Nothing special, to be honest, because right now I think we all look for special people and I just think I'm a regular person in life. Well, when I'm racing, uh, I'm eager. Uh, I'm always uh, like really aggressive in the race. Um, I'm also, I have a lot, I think I have a lot of willpower uh, to win races and to be there for my team, to help uh, my teammates winning. I think at home I'm more like chill and relaxed and more like uh, an easy going person than I am in the race where I'm more, uh, I would say, aggressive and uh, always there, always uh, when things are heating up, I'm always there because I like, uh, I like the fire, the, the passion that the race can, uh, can transmit. I'm confident when I go to the races, but sometimes you doubt also a, a little bit, especially maybe if you didn't have the, a good training week and uh, you go to a race and you don't really know what to expect and everything. But confidence is something that for me came with age. After the lockdown, uh, I just decided to go full in the races because I was really excited and I was like, okay, Elisa, now it doesn't really matter if you, if you make a mistake or not. Nobody will die. It's just a bike race. My boyfriend Jacopo really helped me because I got to know him in, yeah, more or less in 2020. Yeah, he gave me another side of cycling and he, he gave me a lot of joy and it was like every day, every time you go to a race, you need to be joyful and you need to enjoy it at the best. As you have the, you, you always said, says to me, you have the legs to win races. I don't, if I, if I would have your legs, I would do so many good results, but I have only my head. When I finish the race, it's there. So I, I, either if I did a good race or not, yeah, it's there for me. I just care about the Lisa, and not about the rider. Yeah, uh, my family is uh, surely a sport uh, family uh, because my mom was, uh, was an athlete. She was a cross-country skier. My dad was a trainer in cross-country. And uh, Paolo, my brother, has been professional for 11 years. So yeah, I grew up in a very sporty family. And for me, you know, going into sport was something completely natural. Yeah, surely I come from a traditional family too. Um, I have mom and dad, we have a big house. Uh, my nieces are coming down to their grandparents. My brother is living 200 meters from where I live, 300 meters from my parents. As an athlete, sometimes you can get um, a little bit out of the world, but this is my way to stay attached to the normal world because I come home and I, I hear stories from school from my nieces and then they have to do their homeworks and they are not able and maybe they ask me something and I have to help them. My family has been always a working family. Like my, my, grandpa, my grandparents were working in the fields, uh, then they were working also on uh, marble, uh, processing the marble. And, um, and dad has this hobby that is uh, agriculture and he has also cows. Yeah, Audrey is part of the family too, because she, she came many times to visit me 
and she knows my nieces, she knows Paolo, she knows my mom and dad, she likes to spend time with them. Audrey is, uh, is for me a friend and um, sometimes we are so, so much friends that we hate each other like sisters, you know. We can have discussions like forever and in the team they are like, can you please stop? Because now you are getting a little bit over. For me, the team is everything. Um, team is having different strength together and uh, putting them together in a good synergy to try to achieve the best. Um, and I think in our team, we have all different strengths and we, we melt it. We melt them very well, and uh, that, that's why we are so successful. And also, we have so many different characters that sometimes <clears throat> can also a little bit clash, because, yeah, it's the reality. Sometimes we also clash a little bit. We have discussions and stuff like that. But mostly we are really strong women, and uh, we are driven by, by passion, and this is our this is the key of our success. Oh, you're making me fucking cry. Come on, girl. Go, 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 go. 34 seconds. 34 seconds. The moment I entered the velodrome, it was... Um, it was a little bit a crazy moment, to be honest, because I've been um, really riding through the hell. And, uh, and then all of a sudden you are in this velodrome and it's like paradise. Um, it took me surely two days to really realize what has been done uh, there in those French uh, roads. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't sleep at all for two nights. But still, if I look back and I'm, I think about what I've, what, what I've done, I'm still really emotional. I was uh, to the front alone. I was really concentrating um, on, on lines, on the lines, on, on the best trajectories to take. And um, it turned out that I, I took a bad one also. Uh, but uh, at least I had a good save. And, uh, and then I was really just thinking about winning the race. My brother and my, my older niece, they couldn't handle the pressure by watching me, so they just went out on the bike training. Straight after the race, I had um, Jacopo on the phone. I was crying, Jacopo was screaming in the airplane, the steward came to him and he just told him to calm or to calm down and it was it was a little bit funny also yeah I'm I'm just again as I always say I'm just Elisa I'm just it's just me